you had actually a lot of instances where you would try to diet, you would succeed, and then you would cave in over a period of time. And these diets you were doing were not sustainable. So kind of give like the process, because first of all, what is binge eating? Second of all, how has that impacted you? Okay. So basically with binge eating, a lot of the times you'll, let's say you are either dieting or not. You can have binge eating even when you're not dieting. And so let's say you pull out a bag of, you know, a party size bag of Doritos. Do I get paid for mentioning Doritos? No, I'm just kidding. Doritos. Don't ever eat them. Don't ever eat them. They'll Um, kill you. So let's say you start eating a bag of like a party size bag of Doritos. And the next thing you know, you you're at the bottom of the bag. Mm -hmm. That would be considered a binge. Um, The amount of calories that there are in one bag of Doritos, I mean, that is mindless eating. There is nothing about that that you are doing for a nutrition, um, like a nutritional basis or actual like food is fuel. You're just doing mindless eating because of the MSG and the chemicals. I mean, these foods are made to be addicting to just not be able to stop. I mean, I think even on one of the most popular chip bags, it says, I bet you can't eat just one. Lays. Nobody can eat just one. Nobody can yeah. eat just one. Why? <laughs> I mean, with Lays specifically, I get it. It's, it's, there's but no like. No, just imagine if that was any other food. Steak! Nobody could have just one. Yeah, right. You puke. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things that's like, and, and now I've learned more recently that carbohydrates do not contain uh, the peptide YY hormone, which is the one that sends the satiety and stop eating signal to your brain. Wait, what doesn't? Uh, carbs don't. Okay. So that come that hormone comes from fat and protein, and that is why you can eat so much popcorn, pasta, bread. It isn't the same way for like steak or chicken. I mean, you can't just eat twelve pounds of chicken. Like yeah. you just cannot. You can same with avocados. At some point, your mind just says stop. That's enough, right? Yeah. It doesn't ever kind of get that point with you'll feel sick in your stomach before your brain will tell you you're full when it comes to junk food. And these all of the people who preach moderation is key are always the people who don't ever talk about the importance of vitamin and nu- vitamins and nutrition and everything else that's vitally important to the human body. It's basically like a set group of people who agree that a gallon of water a day needs to be, you need to have, it's like they all agree that the same thing. Calories are the only thing that matters. Uh, binge eating uh, can only be beat by continuing to have the foods that you're trying to avoid in moderation the eat less move more movement none of it has anything to do with hormones or insulin or blood sugar or your health or your cardiovascular none of it has anything to do with that it's just this whole other thing and so it's really sad because it's really becoming a huge problem in society and we don't have the right why to handle it so so can you give it like a yeah definition i actually have it from the mayo clinic here Okay. Can't wait for this. Uh, behavioral and emotional signs and symptoms of binge eating disorder include eating unusually large amounts of food in a specific amount of time, such as over a two-hour period. One of the main signs of bin- binge eating is eating even when you're not full or hungry. Eating yeah. even when you're not. No, when, when you, you are. are full yeah, that's one of the main. Oh, things. sorry. When you're full or not hungry. Even when you're full. Eating even when you're full or not hungry. My yeah. bad. Have you ever wanted to lose a lot of weight, but you did not want the keto flu? A lot of people, they get this thing called the keto flow and it hurts your face. It hurts your head. It's terrible. (laughs) It's really bad. So, I mean, if you've just started this thing, then you don't want to go through that experience. What you got to do is you got to take electrolytes. Don't don't drink a gallon of water. Tiffany, Tiffany, hold your cup up, man. Cheers. Cheers to watermelon electrolytes. One of our best tasting electrolytes. It's one of the best tasting on the market. We... Spent a lot of time formulating this, make sure it tasted good, but also had a lot of potassium, salt, all the things that your body needs for really, really good uh, hydration. Don't drink a gallon of water. You want to drink electrolytes. So click the link below. If you click the link below, you can you can find where we sell sell the electrolytes, and it tastes really good. So don't get the keto flu either. In the next commercial, we'll talk about clean keto. And uh, yeah, that's the end of that commercial. <laughs> so yeah. back to the binge eating what has been your like give like a few examples of how you would binge eat you've given it examples of like uh restaurants you gave the example of the donut last week so like how did this look especially when you were trying to diet 
So I remember one time I was doing the HCG diet, which I can't even believe exists. I mean, as what much, is that? it's the HCG diet It's basically where they try to mimic something in while you're pregnant, some hormone while you're pregnant and you're doing a 500 calorie a day diet and eventually you'll stall. And when you stall, you have to do apple days where you eat nothing but six apples for the entire. I mean, it's the craziest thing in the yeah. world. Don't ask me how I found out about this. My this parents. is the one where you like inject something into your body fat hcg the pregnancy hormone or something the, wow the uh what is it uh i got it right here hcd diet H C G diet human oh god human chorionic gonad dro gonad pin love that comment below that i'm wrong because i'm sure i am yeah so 500 calories a day and um Basically, you would lose like if you did it for 30 days, you'd lose like 30 pounds in 30 days. And then the day you stopped, you would gain like 65. I don't understand, though. Like, I feel like they're like, yeah, you have to buy this expensive supplement and also eat 500 calories a day. And I'm like, the 500 calories a day is, is doing the heavy lifting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, really, that is what it is. It's the fact that you're in such a deficit. So what you're doing is you're just killing your metabolism. Yeah, but also you should buy this $6,000 supplement. Yeah, the drops, which I'm pretty sure are a placebo. But yeah, so I did that. And then what would happen is like at the end when I just like if especially because I'd always hit days where I wasn't losing weight anymore more yeah and then the next day um i would just eat like a sleeve of cookies and then when i was done with the sleeve of cookies i'd be like why did you do that tiffany that is so stupid you just sabotaged all your work too late the, it's already over and yeah. then i would go get a sandwich and then chicken nuggets or macaroni and, and just never ending it was like i was literally trying to refill my body of the last 30 yeah. days yeah and that is basically what is talked about in the obesity code how people do that i mean you restrict like that and once you're stopping restriction your body is like <gasps> like try to get everything in as fast as possible and so yeah, I've had many, 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 many occasions of that. Yeah. Uh, buying a, a, the most recent one would be, I, um, I think in 2016, a couple of months before I started, I went and got those little shortbread cookies that usually you have for like Easter, you know, with yeah. the decorations. Yeah. And I got like a family size one of them and I ate every single one of them. And I think under three minutes. Oh my gosh. And I was like, why did you do that? And I'm like, I want more. Yeah. Like, crazy you had a dr jack on mr hyde moment right yeah there. and i'd always be like so devastated after like yeah. why did you just do that yeah and feel so sick yeah and then i would do it again like the craziest thing it was like complete loss of self-control no matter how many minutes i spent trying to convince myself to not do it i could just have one i think two three four five six yeah. seven eight nine twelve twenty four 